Hi, I'm Bridget, and here's a look back at some of the best celebrity news this week on CelebrityWeek.com. Let's start with our horrifyingly bad paparazzi shot of the week. Sometimes I get protective when stars are really skinny and the media is all over them for being anorexic, and maybe they just have a fast metabolism. But Nicole Richie's day at the beach pictures are seriously scary. I don't even want to make fun of this picture because I think she might be really sick. So as sort of a compromise, I'll allow myself to make fun of things other than the actual skinniness. She likes to shop. She has money. Why is she wearing a saggy bikini bottom? It's like a loincloth. Nicole, I don't even recognize you. The Odd Couple of the Week. This week it's Eddie Murphy and Mel B, former Spice Girl. This is actually more like an odd couple who's been around for a little while but is in the headlines this week for getting serious fast. I mean, she wasn't just a Spice Girl. She was Scary Spice. That's her there in the leopard print. Apparently, the two are planning a trip to Disneyland so that their kids can meet each other, and marriage has already been discussed, even though the two have only been seeing each other for two months. Two months? And they already both have tattoos of each other's names in their bodies. That's never a good idea. The quote of the week this week has to go to Justin Timberlake for his comment about American Idol's Taylor Hicks. He can't carry a tune in a bucket. Bluntness is rare in Hollywood these days, so you've got to love it that he said that. Even if it was mean and pretty much definitely an overstatement. And almost better than the original quote was watching Timberlake's rep, Ken Sunshine, trying to undo the damage by insisting that the comments were taken out of context and that Justin has, quote, tremendous affection for Taylor's success. Huh. I'm not really sure how he can't carry a tune in a bucket can be taken out of context, but okay. This week's Vote of the Week goes to Heath Ledger and Michelle Williams as they show the paparazzi exactly what they think of them. I like this picture because of how adorably bad they both look in their swimwear. Thanks for showing us Hollywood doesn't have to be all glamour. And finally, the Stop Laughing It's Not Funny story of the week. Kevin Federline is trying hypnotherapy to help him quit smoking. You know, him trying to stop smoking is a good thing. So why does this news want to strike me as funny? I'm trying to put my finger on what I find humorous about it. I think it's just the thought of K-Fed hypnotized. Like he already seems so close to that state already. K-Fed said that to him, being addicted to cigarettes is probably the equivalent of being addicted to heroin. He heard that Matt Damon quit smoking through hypnotherapy and thought he should try it too. Congratulations, Matt. You're a K-Fed role model. That's it for the wrap-up. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you Monday.